we are saying we are we, our ego, our personality, our whole structure is entirely put together as memory. We are memory. Please, this is subject to investigation, don't accept it. Observe it, listen. The speaker is saying, the you, the ego, the me, is altogether memory. There is no spot or space in which there is clarity. Or you can believe, hope, have faith that there is something in you which is uncontaminated, which is God, which is the, a spark of that which is timeless. You can believe all that. But that belief is merely illusory. All beliefs are. But the fact is that our whole existence, we are entirely memory, remembrance. There is no spot or space of inwardly which is not memory. You can investigate this, if you have time, perhaps not this morning because we have a lot to cover, but if you are inquiring seriously into yourself, you will see that the me, the ego, is all memory, remembrance. And that's our life. We function, live <coughs> from memory. And for us, death is the ending of that memory. Right? Am I speaking to myself or we're all together in it? See, the speaker is used to talking in, in the open, under trees, or in a vast tent, without these glaring lights. And one can then have an intimate communication with each other. As a matter of fact, There are only you and me talking together. Not all this enormous audience in a vast hall, but you and I, sitting on the banks of a river, on a bench, talking over this thing together. And one is saying to the other, we are nothing but memory. And it is to that memory that we are attached. My house, my property, my experience, my relationship, the office I go to, the factory, The skill of being able to gather during a certain period of time, I'm all that. And to that, thought is attached. That's what we call living. And this attachment, 
with all its problems. Because when you are attached, there is fear of losing. We are attached because we are lonely. Deep, abiding loneliness, which is suffocating, isolating, depressing. And the more we are attached to another, which is again memory, the other is a memory. My wife, my husband, my children are physically different from me, psychologically the memory of my wife, I am attached to that, to the name, to the form, my existence is attachment to that memory which I have gathered through all my life. Where there is attachment, I recognise, observe, there is corruption. When I am attached to a belief, hoping in that attachment to that belief there will be certain security, both psychologically as well as physically, that attachment not only prevents further examination, but I am frightened to examine even when I am greatly attached to something, to a person, to an idea, to an experience. So corruption exists where there is an attachment. And my whole, one's whole life <coughs> is a movement within the field of the known. This is obvious. And death means the ending of all, ending of the known. Right? Ending of the physical organism, ending all the memory of which I am. I am nothing but memory, memory being the known. And I am frightened to let all that go, which means death. I think that's fairly clear, at least verbally. And it is intellectually, <coughs> you can accept that. Logically, sanely, that's a fact. 